Ho, oh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, he's and she's and every other thing in this planet. It is a hot one out here today. Let me go ahead and tell y'all. Uh, I don't even know where to begin on this. So we got the YXZ out. I have actually not made a video in quite a while. I took a little bit of a break just to enjoy the weather outside, but we are back in full blast and I'm ready to knock out some videos for y'all. I've actually been waiting on a company to get in touch with me. Finally got in touch with them. They got back to me. So that is why I have not posted in three weeks. I've been talking to them, getting everything situated with them. But today is the day. Everything that I ordered is here at the house. We got to do a bunch of stuff today. It is going to be a fantastic video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Real quick, shameless plug. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to do so because we just hit 150,000 subscribers and we are on the way up even more. But for today's video, Super ATV has got in touch with me and they have sent me out some absolute goodies for the YXZ. Now, if you don't already know, this is my 2019 YXZ 1000R SSSE with a turbo kit. Now, these things do not come from the factory turbo. This was actually put on by the previous owner. Everything that this side-by-side -side has done to it when I bought it, I was already going to do. So there was no point in me going out and buying a brand new one when this one already has everything done to it. As you can see, me and my brother wrapped half this side by side it's not looking very good but i got bird crapping all over but half the side is gray half the side is blue it looks pretty good when it's cleaned up but when it's dirty it's dirty so let's go ahead and go over this thing real fast before we get into it so this thing is already decked out with super atv right super atv front and rear metal bumpers super atv winch winch guard super atv tires front windshield from super atv rear back glass from super atv there's the back bumper that i was just telling you all about and the rock sliders are also from super atv these need to be taken off and painted but i can't get the bolt inside there because uh well one it's stripped and two it's clogged full of mud but everything on this side by side already has super atv so i was like well what the hell why don't i just get in contact with super atv and see if we can work some stuff out and boy did they not disappoint they did an absolute incredible job so we got some stuff to take out of the bed of the truck as you can see we got tires we got boxes we got bigger boxes we got a whole bunch of stuff so let me go ahead and take this stuff out and i will give you all a detailed description on what we got for this thing Alrighty, so as you can tell, we got a big box from Aces Racing. I also have to give a huge shout out for them. They sent me the set of Daytona racing seats for the YXZ because if you know, you know. These YXZ seats, they're nice. They're cushiony and soft, but they don't have any bolsters to keep you set in. They have a little bit down here, but it's not really enough. So I hit up Aces Racing. I was like, hey, would you guys like to sponsor the video? Send out a pair of seats for this thing because my number one thing is safe. I want to be safe when I'm running, so that's why I have harnesses in it. I don't think I mentioned that, but it already does have harnesses in it. Aces Racing sent out some Daytona seats and then Super ATV went wild and crazy and sent me some 32 by 10 by 14 Super ATV Warrior tires and these things got some meat to them they look good I'm so excited to put these on these wheels but I am planning on getting different wheels eventually but for right now since we're going to Durham town next weekend and bus goes coming up I need to have these tires on here so these tires are going on these wheels today hopefully if I can find somebody to do it and then also as I said before we got the seats I actually found these over in Kyle's house Kyle actually had these uh, turn signals laying around. These are actually the turn signals that Kyle and Miller run on theirs. These are the ones that have the lights in it, which, oh my lord, these lights are incredibly bright on these things, and I don't know how, but these are the Trail Strike Dawns, which are the mirrors with the LEDs inside of it. We gotta figure that out. We gotta do that. They look really good as well. I also gotta open up these boxes, and I'm pretty sure that they also sent me a winch cable. Yes, they did, which is the blue winch cable that I also asked for. So this thing is definitely gonna match the YXZ. So we got a brand new winch cable, and I'm pretty sure they also sent me a new hook for the winch cable and a winch stop. Oh yes, Super ATV, huge shout out. They got, they actually sent me a bunch of stickers. They sent me a whole box full of stickers. Look at this. You got a white one, we got the Super ATV color, built for battle, I mean, they sent me a bunch. And then inside here, you got the winch stop, and you also have a brand new black hook, so I'm excited to put that on. But as for right this second, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these seats, because these things are really slick, they're gonna match the YXZ perfect, and I'm really excited to show y'all. Now these are the Daytona racing seats from Aces Racing. Man, oh, I haven't even actually like, oh, these are, way better than what I was expecting. So you got the cushion down at the bottom. Now these apparently are just real easy plug and play. You just take dock seat bracket off of the stock seats and you put it right on here. And then you got the cushion that I'm assuming just sets in like that. Dude, these things look good. I got some spots for my harnesses to slip right in through. Definitely gonna have to read the instructions, but oh. Oh, that's so much more comfortable. These bolsters right here are actually going to hold me in along with down here. I definitely don't feel like I'm sliding around like those stock seats. Those stock seats will have you just 
doing all this. You got to really crank down on the harnesses. But with these, you can leave them a little loose. That way you can see around the tire. And that's another thing that I like about the YXZ. You can see almost everything in front of you because the front end is so narrow. So these are definitely going to be it. These feel nice and solid. And they look good as well. I don't know if you guys can see because of the sunlight. But man, these are just so sick. You got diamond stitching in the middle with the color match blue. You got the silver fading down the side of it. Man, these things look good. Huge shout out to Aces Racing for sending me these. But as of right now, I have to take these wheels and tires off of the YXZ. So hopefully they can mount these brand new meat leather hoovers on them. We will come back. I'll slap the new wheels and tires. And then I guess we will start working on the seats and everything else. So y'all guys just sit back and relax. I'm going to throw this stuff in the garage, get these tires off, send them to the shop, and I will pick y'all up in just a second. All right, all right, all right. So all the wheels and tires are off. Now just to load them up into the truck, go get these new Letta Hoovers on if you know what I'm talking about. All right, all right. Oh God, oh! What was that? And uh, hopefully she stays right there and doesn't like topple over or anything. All right, well we are at the tire shop right down the street from me. They said they could do it. They're actually doing them right now. They're going to mount them. We're not gonna balance them because I don't really think you balance ATV side-by-side -side wheels. So they're not gonna balance them, but they are mounting them right now. $140 later, I'm sitting in the air condition because it is hot outside. It is uh, 79 degrees. A little warm but i'm finally happy that it's getting warm outside also when i get to the house don't let me forget that i also did some upgrades to the chevrolet that i haven't put on video i was going to but then again i was like yeah there's not really any point can't make a full video about it but i did get my windows tinted again so i'm not riding around in a fishbowl i have five on the side just like i have on the back glass and instead of doing 35 on the shield like i did last time i actually did 25 so it's a little darker but man i'm so happy that now nobody can see them because with the 35 it was like right on the edge of like you could see in but you could couldn't see in just depending on like the day now you can't see in no matter what so i'm just gonna sit here and relax and wait for them to get done and then uh back of the house we go to get them mounted i hope my side by side is still on the jack stands because that would not be good if it toppled over Okay, I guess we'll see you when we get home. All right, so I made it back to the house. I went ahead and put the old tires in the garage and the new tires are on the wheels. And man, do these things look beefy. So they actually are directional. So I got them in all the directions that they're supposed to go. I'm gonna go ahead and slap these things on and then I will give you all the final product of what it looks like. Because man, I am excited. These things look good. I'm ready to put them on and see just how good they look. So y'all just give me one second. Nice! All right! And those four are done. Brand new tires. Man, does this thing look good. That thing looks so much better with the brand new tires on it. I'm ready to uh, go ahead and rip up some trails now. Anyways, I guess the next subject to do is uh, either the winch cable or the seats. I'm probably going to do the seats because I feel like that's going to take the longest. So I am going to pull the side-by-side -side in the garage because it's a little warm outside right now. So I'm going to pull it in here and do it in the shade. And uh, hopefully it won't take too long. I'm going to watch a couple videos, see if I can figure it out. And then we will get to putting the seats on. And the driver's side seat is out. I should probably clean up in here a little bit because it's absolutely disgusting. But then again, nobody's going to see it back here, so there's not really any point, so I'm not going to. So now, I have to figure out how to bolt the brackets to the new seats, so that's going to take me a little bit because I have all of these parts and all of these instructions out here, and I have no idea what to do with it. So I'm going to read these and try and figure it out to put them on there, and then uh, we'll go from there, and hopefully it's an easy process. Well, after a little bit of uh, cussing and creating new foul words... Uh. I finally got the seat in. She is in. She is bolted down. It was actually kind of a pain trying to read the instructions and figure it all out, but I ended up doing it. We got we got the bracket in there. As you can see, this is the bracket goes into this thing. That way it can still slide forward and backwards. Went ahead and put the harnesses through the loops, and man, she is set up and ready to go. I already got those harnesses strapped down the way I like it. That way they fit me. Just got to push down the seat cushion, get the passenger seat on, and then we can move on to the next step. So I'm not going to bore y'all. I'm going to go ahead and just take the second seat out, put the other passenger seat in, and then uh, we will move on to the next step. Alrighty. And just like that, the second seat is officially... She's in. 
Now I just gotta put the harness straps through the holes and we are all set. And just like that, these seats are in and man, do they look good. They are actually super cushiony. They brought my seat height up just a little bit. So now, hopefully, when I'm riding, y'all won't be staring at the steering wheel. Y'all will be able to see a little bit above. But I got to put the helmet on and test it out. But so far, so good. These things did get dirty fast because these uh, harnesses are pretty, pretty grody. But anyways, the seats are in. They do have a five-point harness, but I do not have a five-point harness. Maybe someday in the future I'll get one. But as of right now, we're going to stick with the four points. They are in on both sides. The seats are locked down. They're not going to go anywhere. These also are Velcro, so you can take these out pressure wash them get it all nice and clean but super comfortable huge shout out to aces racing they will also be linked in the description along with super atv without them i would not be able to get this build done the way that i am tires are looking good seats are in now the next thing we have to do is go ahead and put on this blue synthetic rope so i gotta yank all of this old one out figure out how to tie it together and then put the blue one in so you guys right, stay tuned for that all right, well, I was going to take the bumper off because I thought the winch wasn't connected to it, but it is. So now i got to figure out how to get this plate off here and somehow do this. So that's not going to be very fun. So I'm going to figure that out, and then I will uh, pick you up when this is done. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the blue winch rope is installed. You can see it in there and down here. Now the only thing I gotta do is put the hook on and the little spacer that comes with it, and we are all done for the winch. We got the seats in, we got the winch cable on. Now the next thing is mirrors. I don't know if I'm gonna do the mirrors tonight. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, me and the family just got back from dinner. The winch cable is on, the tires are on, the new seats are on, the harnesses are in the seats. I'm done. The only thing I have left are those mirrors, but it is getting dark outside. As you can tell, it's dark outside. And uh, I lost motivation to work on it, so the next video, I am going to be putting the mirrors on, wiring them to this switch right here. I was worried about like where I was gonna put the second switch, but I realized I have a horn switch right here that doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna just replace that switch for the mirror lights, and then we will be good to go. But as of right now, she is finished looking clean. This thing is gonna look so much better with LED mirrors on the side, because everything else is LED, as you can tell. And man, it looks good, and it is bright. So. I'm gonna go ahead and close off today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a long day. I think I spent almost six hours working on this. It shouldn't have taken so long, but it did. So that's the way the cookie crumbles. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave it down in the comments. I will be posting more side-by-side -side videos, more Harley videos. Bus goes coming up. We got bike week coming. We're going to Durham Town next weekend. I mean, it's gonna be a blast. So there's definitely gonna be more content coming soon. But like I said, hope you enjoyed it. I love you. God bless you. God bless this country. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.